Southport, Mississippi, man. We are here to uh, bless and get blessed. I, I, it's going to be a two-way street. Uh, we're here to debut our first uh, installment of Cut Confidence. We're with one of the premier hair cutters in really the Gulf Coast, Miss uh, Jakenia Crawford. And uh, she's gathered together her team and some invitees uh, uh, around the city uh, to get down. We had a great night last night, just kind of powwowing and doing more of a... Uh, uh, prelude really to SOS, kind of working on her business, working on her uh, as an entrepreneur. And then today we're actually going to get involved with the technical today. We're super excited. We're here in the beautiful Gulf Coast of seagulls flying around. You know, this is kind of how I envisioned my life and it's, uh, <laughs> it's going, but it's, uh, it's crucial today and just pour into them. So uh, cut confidence, man. Ryan Solana Glory, Highway 49, Gulf Coast, Mississippi. Let go. You were one of the first. There's a lot of people that did a lot of things, but what we one of the reasons why we chose uh, to have this interview um, on top of you commissioning us out to come on out to Gulfport this weekend is to really kind of highlight the results that can come from what we've been doing with Toronto Education. Uh, many times I get from people that they believe, well, Ray, you don't understand, and what you have become and others, but I'm not going to mince words to Kenya Crawford, what you're doing with Ryan Solana Glory, the many changes that you've made, uh, the investments that you've made. You've been to every event that we've had, right? On top of, we even debuted here, uh, Cut Confidence uh, for the very first time. So, Regano, what's the first time you heard about me? The first time I heard about Raymond Torregano, I was on vacation mm -hmm. in Orlando, Florida, and I was um, looking for some more styling, some more you know, something to add to my repertoire of things that I do in the salon. Right. And I came across this video of this lady with this bang with all these colors. <laughs> Shout out to Javonda Davis <laughs> uh, for allowing me to play that day. And that person that did that was you. Okay. Raymond okay. Torregano. And I sat there that whole four days that I was in Orlando and watched every video that you had on YouTube and that was back in 2012. So when, from 2012 to when did you get on to Periscope and did you see me on there? Was that the second time you met me or the second platform that you met? Or yes, you... Periscope was the second um, platform that okay. I met you on. Um, and that was in 2015, okay. the end of 2015. Okay. And I was so happy that I found you again. I was like, oh, I kind of lost in there a little right, bit. Right, right, but right. here he is again with Periscope. Right. And you were actually debuting your uh, color confidence class. Wow. And the first one you were given was in December. Wow. And it was on a Sunday, and I knew I couldn't make it that Sunday. Got it. But the next one was on a Monday, and I'm like, hey. hey. The infamous January 4th crew. Yeah, January 4th, the, the New Year's crew. Yeah, man. I was a part of that crew. I. I all my fears, I just put them away, got in my car, got my ticket. Got your ticket. Got in my car, my daughter rode with me, and all my fears just had to go. Okay, so on top of the class, give me the feeling of leaving that day. <laughs> on your way out of the door, what were the things that you saw and felt and began to implement? Because what you did, what I really encourage everybody to do, you went to work the next day. Yes. You went to work the next day and I and you got on the radar of what we were doing back at headquarters with Torcano Education. Like, yo, she's she's not playing. The next day things begin to change. Yes. Matter of fact, before um, well when I got in my car, I made a phone call because I was in my mind thinking, what who can I use right. to implement this information that Torgano Education just gave me. Right. And so when I got in my car, I called Gina and I was like, look, I need to put this color on you. I need to try this. I need to, right. what he's giving me, right. I have to implement it. I saw it. that too. I saw that. Now that I think <laughs> yeah. about it, Gina was here today. I thought about yes, something. Yes, yes, wow. she was the one. And she came and I applied it. And I was like literally scared to death to get on Periscope because I had been out of social media for so long. Right. And I got on social media because I wanted you to see that what you had given me. You have, you are doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Go ahead, I won't stop you. And I, what you, what you had given me, that was my way of paying you back. Appreciate. Say it. thank you because I was in a place that I felt like I couldn't come out of, and you pulled me up out of that low place mm, in mm. business, in business, in the salon. Wow. You know, as a hairdresser. Mm. You pulled me up out of that low place. Now, one of the things that I'm such, I'm so complimentary to you about is you are clearly a specialist in a lane. You are a short hair, <laughs> chop them down, cut hair guru. 
and what you left was a color class. Yes. It could have been easy to get excited, get motivated, and go back to your lane, but you instantly went into trying this different thing. I want you to talk a little bit about why do you think that's important to expand, you know, you've been a salon owner for how long? I've been a salon owner mm, 20 years. 20, 20, a salon owner for 20 12. years. Wow, wow, wow. You've been in this location. I've been in this location for three. Wow, 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 yes. wow. See, even that, I just learned that mm -hmm. for the very first yeah. time. Wow, yeah. so so what about going back and saying, I'm going to implement color? Because what you did is not necessarily put it in link, mm -hmm. but you stacked the topping of color on top of your short work, right? So what has that done? Why is it important and what did it do in any way you want to speak about okay. it for the business? Me, I wanted to know how could I flavorize the short hair and you taught me how to do that. Right. And I came back here and every, like you said, every client is a color client. Every client is a color client. So it didn't, didn't matter if they were short, no if, matter. if they had two inches or, or four inches, inches, I was going to color that hair. No matter. And that is what I did and it took my income bracket to a whole nother level. So our motto is better hairdressers, better salons, better lives. But where did things begin to take you as a hairdresser and where did it take your salon? Here we are in the fifth month yep. of 2016 and I left you January the 4th and things that I want to do years ago, I have done it in five months wow. since I left you. Wow, wow, wow. So. Wow, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. Yeah, so so what do you think, one of the things that you did that you weren't doing before that I really stressed that day, and again, you last hold to it was, you got busy in social media in a new way. And there were some people that got busier but were always on social media. Your, and one of your platforms was kind of like dormant. Right. And you like exploded after right. that. And what do you see has happened as a result of the activity on Facebook, activity on Instagram, in particular, the fact of, look, keep posting, mm -hmm. keep sharing the word, and how has it ha what has happened with your clientele? Well, actually the one that I was very low on was Instagram. And since January the 4th, I got back on Instagram because you told me, Torigano Education told me, post, yeah. post your work, right. good or bad, post it. So, you know, because I invested the money, I feel like what you had to give me, I had to implement that. Mm -hmm. So if you said, go stand on the side of the road and sell apples, that's going to work for you. That's what I would have done because I believed in what you said. And as I started posting my pictures on Instagram, oh my God, my business just blew up. I mean, it, it went to a whole nother level. It, it was a shift that took place. Wow, a shift. It was a shift. What about your pricing, taking things up in your price point? Yes, I had to take my prices up another level because my education had went up another level. So I had to take my prices up and hey, because I'm so confident in what I'm doing now and because I know my worth, I had to charge what I'm worth. You taught me that. Taught you that. So, well, you, you, you taught me so many things. So <laughs> this is really not about the kid, but I, I, I want to be as forward as possible with the people because what we want to show is mm -hmm. this thing works. Yes, it works. These things work. We're not talking filler. We're not in this to get nobody's money. No. We want to see them make a ton of money. Mm -hmm. We want better hairdressers. We want better salons. We want better lives. This is the real mission. This is not a hoax. What made the decision to say, okay, I'm going to go back on the road and go back to this guy, you know what I mean? And that was a special day, guys, because the idea that people had that had came once, got hotels again, got flights again, got 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 takes the gas again, that was that was that was a big deal. And that put a little little nerve in me because right. now you gotta deliver and make sure that this thing ain't no one trick pony or you your sophomore jinx. That second <laughs> album, like, it might not be as good as the first one, right? right? So what made you say, yo, I'm going back to Kinky Curly Wavy Straight? Well, because color confidence was so successful for me. I feel like, well, I need to add something else to my menu I that it. I was not, you know, um, giving to the people. And you gave us just a little nugget of a blowout <laughs> at Color Confidence. Right, right. So I tried that and I'm like, oh my God, if I just do, you know, it looks this good and he only gave me this little bit, I need to be in a blowout mastery class. Right. So you were talking about it on a Periscope and I was like, okay, where it, where is it? Do you have it up? I, I, I need to get, and no sooner than we got off of that scope, I went and got my ticket Ding. for the blowout. I was ready Event to go. Event right, Kenya Crawford has purchased her ticket. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow, and you know, on top of that, one of the reasons why we were so excited to come down here, try to get pour as much as we could into this weekend, is because not only did you come, 
but you also said, yo, you grabbed some people with you. Right. You grabbed your cousin, right. you grabbed some other people. So you had a, this whole crew that was riding. Mississippi, period, has been right. just representing and showing love. So you came back and you left Kinky Curly Wavy straight. Yeah. Now what? Yeah. Now you're leaving going into the 1st of April. Yeah. Now what? Now what? Wow. What happened when you got back with that? When I came back, I... It was a client that walked in the door. I just put it out there on Facebook and Instagram. Hey, I went to this blowout mastery class. If you want to get a blowout, come see me. Wow. One walked in the door. Wow. And um, we've been blowing them out ever since. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not scared anymore. I, I, I will say that I was a little timid. I was a little scared to really advance because change is hard. Change is, is kind of, you know, uncomfortable. But I got comfortable. I got the confidence. It was a mastery class, and I feel like I've mastered, you know, the blowouts. Listen, one of the main <laughs> problems that we've been working on your business this weekend <laughs> is an overflow of clients. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main thing we're trying to figure out as I get yeah. my bald head tablet of coffee <laughs> on. How do we deal with this influx of people? We're talking about open houses. We're talking about soliciting people to come to your salon. What does that feel like to go from book to really book to I need some help to get up in here because almost to the point, I even made a comment this weekend like we don't need to get you no more clients. Right, we right. gotta figure out some other things. Right. There are people on here that are struggling with clientele. Right. That, that's one of the main questions that are out there. What do you have to say about his related to organic education for client building and client right. boosting? Just listen at what he tells you to do. Post your pictures, you know. Do what he say do. Build, how about building tickets or Build. diversifying the services, the idea of, you know, um, different price points or yeah. hours. All the, I'm talking about this building, some people think it's just social media, no, but it has a no, lot no, to no. do because now you have a Keurig machine in oh, here. Oh, yes. Now you, oh, have, right. you have different lighting in the yes, building. I walk lighting. in here, I'm like, this, this look like my salon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You got the different tools up right, in here. Right, right. What about retail items? Right. You just made a big order of retail, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. The church, the marketing, so all those things. We have to say as far as building a business because you are a successful salon owner in the Gulf. So um, um, shout out to Gulf for Mississippi 228. Oh, They've been blessing us all weekend, Lord. <laughs> so what do you have to say about as it relates to that, yo, yo, man, look, this thing can explode your business, not yes. only your chair. It can explode your business. I am a witness to that. After January the 4th, that first class that I came to, Color Confidence, my clientele have, uh, I can't even just say quadruple. Wow. Because it's more than that. Wow. I mean, it, exactly what he said, I am like overbooked. Wow. You know, I never thought in my mind that I could ever tell somebody, well, no, I'm booked, I can't get you. And every week now, I'm, I'm telling them I'm booked two weeks in advance. And I, and I mean, and through your teachings and, and up in my prices, mm -hmm. charging what I'm worth. What's your worth? I have revamped my whole salon. Mm -hmm. I've added a coffee bar. I've added new paint. I've added uh, curtains. I mean, just different things have taken place and it's literally have blown, blown my mind. Wow, wow, wow. So now. In months. In, in months. months. So now we're on the hills, we come out of that, and I talked to you at that event, and you solicit like, yo, you gotta come down to the Gulf. You gotta come down there and see me. And I'm like, look, you make it happen, I'm coming. Yes. I say that, but he came out to the event this weekend. So what do you want to get out of SOS? And how to be a better salon owner. Straight up. Yes, that's, I, I need to know that. Right. I need to know how do you, do you think that running a chair is the same as running a salon? No. It's not. No, not at all. It's not. It, it is not You are a kick butt hairdresser. Right. But is that the same as running a salon, a four no. chair salon, and no. staff, and all those things, mm -hmm. client building? Mm -hmm. And so, so we're excited to have you there. We're going to have it on the 23rd. We got some people committed today. Right, right. And so there's somebody out here right now that's considering investing in what we have. We just want to tell you on air, on the line, <laughs> yes. we are appreciative of you. You might be talking about you're talking about us, but we're, you're on the radar. And now you've had us down here in your home. We ate from the pots of Eric Crawford. <laughs> and we family now. Yes, and we, we want are. to see this business the way you want to take it. So somebody's out here and they're considering coming to SOS. They're considering coming to Raymond Torgano events. What would you say to them? And what would you say as far as especially return of investment and how you can get it back? Oh, so wow. speak to them for a little bit and we'll wrap up the interview on somebody that's thinking about it and how we can not necessarily get them over the hump, but how whatever they're dealing with, there's answers for it. Right. The return of the investment 
first of all, it's low ball anyway for the cost of the classes. I would agree. Low ball, low ball, low ball. You get your return the next day. The very next day. If you and use I'm, it. If you use right. the, the, you know, what's given out. I mean, and I've, I've been, wow. My bank account is, is pretty. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just it's saying. Pretty. I bought that I'm, life. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Better hair traffic, better I'm, salons, I'm, which I'm, can turn around right. and take trips. Right, yes. Give people better. Right, right. Take care of things better. Right, I right. saw that daughter yo come up in here looking like a million bucks earlier yes, today. So guess what? I that better lives. Yes. It's not just about money. Right. Because I can help people. Mm -hmm. I can give out jobs. I can have more time. I can give more to my church. Right. I right. can do more things. And it has the I'm in business. Right. I'm in business. And to hear that, it ain't about coins, but I'm fulfilling my purpose. Right. I'm for real, I'm for real in Ryan's glory, you yes, understand? Yes. And sometimes we got dreams that take a little coinage right. to make right. happen right. in right. time. So so if there's somebody out there, are you you're in the business of team building now? Yes, I am. Your chair is good. Yes, my <laughs> Your chair, is good. chair is good. So what we're trying to do is get the salon fleshed out. Sell it. You know what I mean? Right. What what is the advantage of coming to Ryan's Salon of Glory? Via Torgano Education, all on the on the shirt. If I'm a young stylist out there, ready to take my business from good to great, why would it be a benefit to work with you? Come see you. Come move to your area if need right. be. Yes. If you're anywhere near the corporate port area, why would it be a benefit to work with you? It would be a benefit because you will get my 20 years of experience and also the add-on. The land yap. Yeah, the land yap. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Torgano education that I have. Right. And um, just the whole experience of Ryan Salon of Glory. I mean, the atmosphere, um, just just the whole experience of, you know, what we have going on in Absolutely. here. I mean, we love people. Absolutely. <laughs> We love people. Absolutely. We guys, love I, people. I have to say, uh, I've been a lot of places, <laughs> a ton of places, guys. And, uh, and and I love all the places that I've been. But if you're looking for a salon family, if you're looking for a salon home, if you're looking for people that love people, if you're looking for people that are loyal to you and want to see you grow, I've never seen nothing like this. <laughs> and I could only imagine what it would feel like to work here. Uh, I won't tell you I'm proud of you. I won't tell you I'm happy for you. And we just got some new challenges now because you're just busy, busy. <laughs> but that's a good problem. <laughs> Uh, because one of the main challenges we got people is, is that people are around the country and they are dealing with productivity. So I, I, I did one of the main things we wanted to do was have this sit down. Uh, we got a lot today. Right, a lot. We got a lot today. A lot. Listen, much success to Ryan Salon of Glory. There's there's plans of possibly relocating in the next yes, 12 months. Yes. Uh, overflow. You understand? Yes. We touching the walls. We got to get on out the door. And so guys, this is it. <laughs> Salon ownership success. Engineered. For salon owners, yes. suite owners, independent contractors to help their salon business. Jay Crawford gonna be in the building. I'm gonna be in the building. <laughs> and I admonish you to join me. I don't care what you have to do to get to Columbus Joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to meet me there. Me? Don't, don't. Uh, yeah. Meet me there. Meet me there. Meet me there. I love it. I love it. Guys, we are out. Torgano Education. I'm gonna let Jay Crawford finish it up. What's the motto? Better hairdresser. Better salon and better life. We out! <laughs>